Drunk back again with yet another attempt of a craft beer review and my god have I got a cracking craft beer to review today. And I have one from Um Paul and Brewdog Collaboration. Here we have and it's I Want To Be Your Dog Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. 12 on the Richter scale for this bad boy. Absolutely crazy art work on the can. Don't know where they're going with that sort of red and green stripes. 12% barrel aged Imperial Stout by Oma Paul. I think they're actually Swedish. I'm going to stick my neck out there and say they're Swedish. And of course, Brew Dog. So, anyway, let's get it in the glass, see what it's all about. Look at that. Oh, look, and how gloopy that looks. Absolutely fantastic. Like sort of dark beige head, although it is coming across on my camera, it is very, very lightly coloured, but believe me, it is very dark, very deserty looking. Lots of lacing on the glass as I swirl it around. Let's go in for a nose. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, first thing, to be honest with you, the first thing I'm getting from this is. It's, it smells like tiramisu, liquid tiramisu. Picking up the whiskey, nice earthy sort of uh, notes as well, earthy. Coffee, very, oh it's, it's just tiramisu, it says come and drink me. A little bit of caramel, there's a little bit of uh, hazelnut, like a Nutella thing going on in there as well. Oh, it's absolutely, it smells divine. So anyway, so fucking drunk, drinking a I Want to Be Your Dog Barrel Aged Imperial Stout by o o Oma Paul and Brewdog Collaboration, Slangeva. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That is so good. Firstly, you're getting a nice bite of the whiskey, a little bit of oakness, oak from the barrel of the, the, the whiskey barrel. The hazelnut gliding down there, there's another sort of uh, kind of, yeah, pecan, there's a kind of pecan thing happening. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got a lovely Backdraft, a little bit of soft vanilla in there. Oh my god, this is probably one of the... It is my f uh, first Imperial Stout of uh, the new year. And uh, well, there'll be a lot of Stouts that'll have to up their game for uh, for them to beat this. This is fantastic. Doesn't drink like a 12% at all. Absolutely first class. Barreled aged out. There we have the can. I'm picking up a little bit of glare uh, off my camera, but it is red and white stripes, and it's I want to be your dog. Uh, if you can catch that at all, it's got a lovely warming. Uh, the whiskey, sort of like warm warming going down there. Beautiful hazelnut, Nutella, chocolatey thing going on. Nice earthy, earthy note as well. Tiramisu. That's what it's tasting like. Nice, rich tiramisu. This is a sipper. This is an absolute winter sipper. Yeah, after a heavy meal. If you were out somewhere and they were all getting the brandies and the malts. And they, were, they had that on the menu. I would recommend that. Absolutely fantastic beer to finish a night off. So anyway, I want to be your dog. 12 on a Victor scale for this barrel age and peel stout. Is it one I drink again? Yes it is. If I go into Brewdog Bar, they've got it on tap. I've got to try this on tap. It's absolutely a fantastic beer. So anyway, what am I going to give? Uh, what's it called? The uh, Oma Polo. And Brewdog Collaboration, I Want to Be Your Dog, 12% Imperial Aged Stout. 
I'm going to give that a Sofa Keen Drunk rating of, I'm going to give that a 9.9 out of 10. That's how good that is. Fantastic. So anyway, if you've, I've, if you've had I Want to Be Your Dog before, you liked it, you didn't like it, drop a line below. And if not, hopefully Sofa Keen Drunk will catch you in another craft beer review. Sanjeeva, ciao for now. Keep good in the drink. Drinking the good draft beer. My first beer, believe it or not. Ciao for now.